r slash ask reddit what's the most ducked up thing that your country has done i'm from germany i cannot think of anything we did wrong s you destroyed brazil 7-1 the semi-final solution congratulations on the darkest pun i will see today elected a government made a riot about it wanted a new election and then elected the same government ps it's croatia pps so many guesses it's getting scary another ps so many people bringing up jasenovac yes it's ducked up but no i don't count that as current croatia which country sounds a lot like congo literally romania there used to be these massive forests filled with trees called kauri these things were giants like cathedral pillars growing up to thousands of years old their entire trunks were branchless and they fell straight into the role of New Zealand's first economy. Within 40 years they were all but gone. Today we can go and see a couple of them in one small section of forest. It's not genocide scale ducked up, but when you see pictures of smiling colonists standing on a harbour full of floating logs, it's pretty ducking sad. New Zealand is a story of this shit. We have a reputation for our environment when in fact our forests have been so thoroughly decimated it's almost impossible to tell what is missing. The only regions where meaningful sections survived were too wet to burn. Or mountain beach. Which is not a great timber. Not to mention there is now Kari dieback disease that is threatening the remaining trees made worse by people straying off the paths potentially spreading the disease to further trees. I am greatly saddened by the loss of our Kari forests. They are beautiful trees. Wooden bowl? A. Use cowrie. Need a boat? Yep, sure. Use some cowrie. House? Cowrie time. What? A rocking chair? Sure. Cowrie? Table? Cowrie. Wooden shoes? Cowrie. Wait where'd all the cowrie go? Just wait until you hear what they did to the truffula trees. Our king killed somewhere between 115 million Africans. Congo. And when they wanted to become independent. We had their prime minister assassinated a few decades after we lost our colony in sunny Africa. Some dude and his wife decided it was a pretty good idea to kidnap and rape little girls. After he had been initially been arrested and sentenced, our amazing justice system decided it was a smart idea to release him and his new wife after a few years. When he got out, he claimed disability, getting a government pension and access to a bunch of sleeping pills and sedatives. He used these to kidnap and rape a few more little girls, with the help of his wife even though psychiatrists and prison staff, and even his own mother, said it wasn't a smart idea to release him. He had only been released for about 4 years before they brought him back and along with his wife and sentenced them in 2004 a few years ago. His wife has been released, even though there was a massive protest to not do it, and in a few years, he will probably be released as well. Hide yo kids. Also his wife was an accomplice, when police searched their house, she knew about two girls locked up in the basement but didn't say anything. Those girls starved to death while she went out and prayed for their rescue. Crappy police search. Between 1933 and 1945 nothing happened here. Sincerely, Germany, regarding the Fanta thing, we didn't have much of a choice after eliminating all the juice. Oh come now, you invented Fanta didn't you? Fanta, when you are thirsty, we are your final solution. Have mixed emotions about upvoting this. Britain, where to ducking start? Cliff Richard, Imo. Or the abomination that is number wang. Let's rotate the board. For me it's the opium wars, because there isn't even a defense that some of these people were well meaning, if racist, trying to bring civilization and good economic practice, that they had noble goals. Even if the methods were brutal and misguided, it's literally we're running low on cash. Let's become a giant heroin dealer. It's like that conspiracy theory that the CIA got the ghettos addicted to crack. Except it was open foreign policy on a massive scale. Spent 27 mil just talking about changing the flag. You guys really did that the wrong way around. First you should have asked the people if they wanted to actually change the thing. Then move on to a design phase. I think the 27 mil was used asking us. PM at the time had already decided what design he wanted. There's currently talks of 15 mil being spent on a Captain Cook celebration. NZ is not a smart country sometimes. It should have been laser kiwi. Japan. 
rape Brazilians of Korean women. Asian women don't forget Nanking, Manila, Sukching and Calagong. And don't forget about Dutch Indonesian women. Australia, stole the half-caste, mixed race, indigenous children from their parents in an effort to assimilate them into a more white society from about the 1900s to 1970s, leaving thousands of aboriginal kids with no connection to their parents or their culture, creating what is known as the stolen generation. Canada did this too, called them residential schools, except all first nations, not just the half caste. And Denmark, with Greenland, yep. White Australia policy, if you tried to immigrate to Australia and weren't white they would make you do an English test, if you passed that you would be forced to take a French test, then Spanish, Italian, etc until you finally failed one and were deemed unable to enter Australia due to language issues. I was just at the Immigration Museum in Melbourne today, they had an interactive dictation test where you had to write down what was spoken to you without mistakes. English is my first language and even I struggled with the quick pace of the dictation. What would the test be today? Welcome to Australia. First we need to see if you can acclimate. Read this word for me. UHH. Don't. Write this way. Welcome. Honestly, what we did to the Native Americans wasn't cool. Like, really 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 not cool. American. Spanish. Canadian. Portuguese. Mexican. No the Spanish banged the Mayans and turned them into Mexicans. Obligatory edit. Thank you for the silver stranger. My first reddick medal of any kind. I'd say for Switzerland the verding kinder is probably one that comes really damn close. Up to the 1960s. It started becoming less common after that many parents sold their children to farms or other richer households where they were basically child laborers who also generally suffered abuse and mistreatment. Estimates go up to 100 feet 000 children that fell victim to this. It was only rolled up in the late 2000s early 2010s and required a lot of public pressure for the government to issue an apology and an initiative for a compensation to still living victims to be issued. Another thing I'd add is that Switzerland didn't have voting rights for women up to the 1990s. Disclaimer. It was granted nationally in 1971 but certain cantons. Think states. Didn't adopt it until 1990. One of my grandpas was a verdant kind. He never talks about it at all. But according to my mom he didn't have it as bad as others. But still suffered greatly. He's a very rough man. But extremely kind hearted. I love him a lot. Although I've never been as close to him as I was to my other grandpa. Very dark part of the Swiss history. There are a lot of ducked up things that Switzerland has done. And is still doing though. As a Norwegian our treatment of our Sami population always comes to mind. Human beings don't have a good track record of treating indigenous peoples all that well we're savages. Island. We introduced Bono to the world. And you've followed that up with Jedward you ducks. Residential schools. Canada? Yup, last one closed in 1996. Tell us more about that, would you? I've heard people talk about how terrible they were, but never why. Occupied neighboring territories. Let over 11,000 Jewish people from said territories be deported to ducking death camps. Then beat itself on the chest for preventing deportations from the old territories. I mean, saving those people is in any case commendable. But it was not done by the government. And I deplore the language of we saved our Jews. As if these others don't matter because they weren't ours. Also, absolutely ducked up educational system. Infrastructure and the civil society is way behind what it should be today. This is why I left. Which country? Pretty sure it's Bulgaria. They sided with the Axis in World War II and administered parts of Greece and Yugoslavia. They didn't make a fuss about the 11,000 Jews of which about a dozen survived, that were deported from the areas they had under their control. When the Germans, who had a quota of 20k to fill from that area at the time, proposed to start deporting Bulgarian Jews, fierce debate erupted, where before there had been some debate about anti-Jewish legislation and even deportation, it had by 1943, become clear that deportation meant imminent death, and even some of the people that had supported anti-Jewish laws and deportation grew to oppose it, forcing Zaboris III to stand up to Hitler and refuse, 
he was likely poisoned on a visit to Hitler not long after. In the end the about 50,000 Bulgarian Jews were spared and never deported. Replaced Arnott's pizza shapes with a new, inferior formulation. Fortunately after a nationwide tantrum in which I am proud to say I partook, they recanted and now sell an originals line alongside the new abominations. I am from Turkey and for the last 13 years everything is ducked up. I'm just here to make sure Canada takes ownership of Kalao. My personal vote, when American troops liberated Nazi death camps, they handed the gay prisoners back to the German prison system rather than freeing them. Pretty much all concentration camp survivors stayed in the camps for another 1-2 years, nowhere for most of them to go. Here in Australia we have a certain thing called the NBN. We fear those two words more than anything else. I'm currently on my mobile data just so I can post a comment. Go to love forced NBN. Chinese ear. A bunch of things. Banned all free speech websites Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Deleted videos criticizing the Chinese government and deleted some really serious videos about the problems in China. Oh yeah and also kidnapped some people who were talking shit in China. Nothing much. Voted in a president that thinks you can't contract AIDS if you take a shower after sex. South Africa. I love all the post about Trump or Hillary. Have you ever studied any American history? Seriously if you think Trump or Hillary are the most ducked up thing in our history you need to go read. I could go on for days of the ducked up stuff our country has done to pick one above all else wow. It's hard. Just a few. No set order. Tuskegee experiment. Trail of tears. The whole slavery times. Salem witch trials. Tulsa race riots or massacre countless funding of foreign wars to install a puppet government that usually backfire. Really as an American and yes the current state of our government as a whole is a mess but the past we have done a ton of ducked up shit. Mere existence of my country. Turkmenistan. Is ducked up thing. Absurd laws. Regulations and random police pullovers are just random thing in my country. Just google it and I am sure your jaw will drop. Alexander the Great's campaigns. I suppose. That dude must have killed a lot of people. Though I'm not sure if something that happened millennia ago should count. I'm American. Honestly just name something and we've probably done it. With or without the public's knowledge. Canadian here. The native population was treated pretty badly up until a few decades ago. Probably that one time we decided it would be fun to divert food produced in the Raj to the rest of the empire there by causing the Bengal famine. I mean beyond that it caused the famine the fact that it was semi deliberate with Churchill stating something akin to, it doesn't matter if a million of them starve, they breed like rabbits anyway, sullied my respect for the man a little to say the least. Treating the indigenous population very badly and imprisoning asylum seekers on offshore detention sites where they are abused and held indefinitely. That's the first thing to come to mind but there's more. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.